Hello everyone, I am Dr. Hardik Mistri and in this video we are going through tentative academic curriculum of MBBS batch 2021-22. So here it is the tentative academic curriculum of MBBS batch 2021 and 2022. Their first prof will start or is about to start or has been already started in the month of February 2022. Exactly after 11 months, they will complete their first proof and they will appear for the first proof university examination in the month of January year 2023. From the February 2023, they will start for the second proof. Exactly after the 12 month of teaching of the second proof, they will appear for the second proof university examination in the month of February 2024. From March 2024, they will start for the third part 1 prof. And exactly after 12 months of teaching of the third part 1 prof, they will appear for the university examination in the month of March year 2025. And after that, they will continue with the third final prof from the April 2025. Exactly after 13 months, they will appear for the third final prof university examinations theory as well as practical in the month of May, June 2026. Next step 1 exam is conducted for the batch 2021-2022 in the May 2026. It is basically a MCQ type examination mainly a theoretical part. After clearing of the next step 1 exam, they will be eligible to start for the internship from the month of July 2026, 12 month internship. After the end of 12 month internship, they will appear for the next step 2 and it's a practical type of examination. Next step 1, it is basically MCQ type theoretical examination and next step 2, it is the practical examination. Now to be eligible for internship, you must have to clear the next step 1 exam. To be eligible for MBBS degree certificates, you must have to clear next step 2 exam along with the next step 1. To obtain MBBS degree certificate, you have to clear both next step 1 and next step 2. Here the one important thing we have to note that next step 1 it is not the exit exam for the undergraduate courses but it also the entry exam for the postgraduate courses. So next exam, specifically next step 1 is mandatory and depending upon the score you will get in the next step 1, they will prepare the merit list and according to your number in the merit list, you will get the PG seat. Here the important thing is that for the PG counselling, your next step 1 score is mandatory or must. Now you understand the tentative academic curriculum of MBBS batch 2021-22. Year-wise subjects according to MCI New MBBS Curriculum 2019. In the first professionals or the first year, there are three subjects, Human Anatomy, Human Physiology and Biochemistry. In the second professionals or in the second year, there are also three subjects, Pharmacology, Pathology and Microbiology. In the third professionals part 1 or in the third first, there are four subjects Forensic Medicine and Toxicology, Ophthalmology, Otorhinolaryngology or the ENT and a Community Medicine. In the last or the previous curriculum, this Forensic Medicine and Toxicology subject is included in the second professional. But as per the new curriculum of the 2019 by the MCI, this forensic medicine and toxicology is included in the third professionals part 1. Third professionals part 2, there are also four subjects, general medicine, general surgery, pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology. So these all are the year wise subjects according to MCI new MBBS curriculum 2019 for the first year, second year, third first and third due. Now step by step I am going to tell you number of papers there are whatever the total number of marks for the practical and theory. In the first professionals or in the first year human anatomy there will be two papers 
and total marks for the written theory is 200 and for the practical oral it will be 100. Human physiology there will be two papers total theory marks 200 total practical orals will be 100. In the biochemistry there will be two papers total theory marks 200 and total practicals oral is equal to 100 marks. So this is the basic framework of the first professional subjects, their papers and their total number of marks in the theory and uh, practicals. Now the internal assessment, 50 percentage combined in the theory and practical. This is what you already know that inside the MBBS, the passing mark will be 50 percentage. If you score less than 50 percentage, then you will be considered as a fail. And here one more uh, positive thing is there not less than 40 percentage in each means in your theory if you having the internal marks of uh, 40 percentage and in your practicals if you have internal mark of 50 percentage then you will be eligible for the university examination or in some other way if in the theory and practical internal marks will be of 40 40 percentage then also you will be appear for the university examination these are the eligibility criteria to appear in the university examination. So minimum 40 percentage mark is necessary for the eligibility for appearing for university examinations. Now the university examination mandatory 50 percentage marks in the theory and practical. Practical includes the practical viva plus clinical. Whatever subject wise there must be practical some in some subjects. There must be clinical in some subject and uh, viva is compulsory and uh, theory paper includes theory papers only or the theory includes theory papers only. Internal assessment marks are not to be added to marks of the university examinations and should be shown separately in the grade card. So that is the thing that whatever the internal mark you will get it will not be added to the total of the this university examination but it must be as a separate column in your mark sheet. So this is the first professionals or the first year. Now the second professionals or the second year. There will be three subjects pharmacology, pathology and microbiology. In the pharmacology there will be two papers and total theory marks will be 200 and total practicals oral will be 100. In the pathology there will be two papers total theory marks will be 200 and total practicals oral marks will be 100. In the microbiology there will be two papers and total theory marks will be 200 and total practical marks will be 100. The same criteria for the internal assessment and university examination as I told you for the first year or the first professionals. Now the third professionals part 1. It include forensic medicine and toxicology, ophthalmology, otorhinolaryngology and community medicine. In the forensic medicine and toxicology there will be one papers and written or theory examination will be conducted total marks of the 100 and practical oral will be total mark of 100. In the ophthalmology there will be one papers and total theory marks will be 100 and total practical oral mark or the clinical mark will be 100. In the auto rhinolaryngology or the ENT there will be one paper and total theory mark will be 100 and total practical oral or clinical mark will be 100. In the community medicine there will be two papers total theory marks will be 200 and total practicals oral or clinicals will be 100 mark. So this is the third professional part one or the third first and the internal assessment and the university examination rule remains the same as of the first professional examinations. Third professional part 2 or the third due. There will be four subjects general medicine, general surgery, pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology. In the general medicine there will be two papers and total theory mark will be 200, total practical orals and clinical mark will be 200. In the general surgery there will be two papers total theory marks will be 200 total practical orals and clinical mark will be 200 in the pediatrics there will be one paper total theory marks will be 100 
and total practical orals and clinical mark will be 100. In the obstetrics and gynecology there will be two papers and total theory marks will be 200 and total practicals oral and clinical mark will be 200. And the internal assessment and the rules and regulation of the university examination remains same as to death of the first professional examinations or the internal assessment. If you like this presentation, please try to share it with your batch, friends, groups and colleagues. Thank you so much everyone. Please keep sharing.